Hey guys, it's Raymond, the math person. Today I'll be going over question 283 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume that you already tried it. Let's just dive right in. An insurance policy will reimburse one claim per year. For a random policy holder, there's 20% probability of no loss in the year. So 20% probability of no loss. So the claim amount is zero dollars or zero whatever. If a loss occurs in the next year, the claim amount is normally distributed. So there is 0.8% that it is normally distributed. And it is normally distributed with a mean of 1,000 and a standard deviation of 400. Okay, and we're looking for calculate the median claim amount in the next year for the random policy holder. All right, so it's safe to assume that zero is the lowest um lowest amount of claims per year because you know we can't really have negative claims and we're looking for the 50% mark 50% mark and we, but we already know that 20% of it is already um, zero and we just have to figure out what the point three is we know that the point three is normally distributed right so we have to scale our normal distribution so we want this normal distribution we want to scale it to 0.8. We want to scale to 80% of its original side, and we're looking for when it would when it would be equal to 0.3. So then our normal distribution, we're looking for actually 0.3 divided by 0.8, which is equal to 0.375. I hope that kind of makes sense because again, if we take the normal um if you take the normal distribution and just do it as is. It's going to take care of the whole thing, the whole um, the whole normal distribution instead of the part that we're looking for. So we have to remember to scale our probabilities. All right, so then now we have our things to find to use our, to standardize it. So when we standardize it, again, we're looking for when x is less than a 50th percentile, which would equal 0.5. So we're looking for this value. Oh, but then this is actually equal to 0.375 for the normal distribution because anything um, before that, the 20% is just zero. So this is equal to time. We're just plugging in our numbers that we were giving, given. And when we scale 0.375, we can safely assume it's on the negative side. Good thing I have the negative side <laughs> only. Um, I heard that, that on exam P, it's the positive side. So if you guys have... If you guys can concur with that, leave it down below. I never know. But we're looking for 0.375, which is close to negative 0.32. Negative 0.32. Multiply it out. So we get x50 equals negative 0.32 times 400, which is equal to negative 128 plus 1,000 is equal to 872 which is approximately equal to 873 which is our answer c so the this the this, the discrepancy the discrepancy the discrepancy comes from when we took the normal distribution because again normal distribution is just a approximation of the integral of the e so some people might um, think the 0.375 is closer to this number instead of this number or something like that. So it's not an exact Z table or the normal table isn't exact, but it's a good approximation. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.